No microphone. Yeah, you're good. All right, good morning, y'all. Um, as you said, my name is Scott Barkey. I'm a seminarian uh, with the diocese. I've, this, I'm starting my third year, so uh, my first year of theology, which is why I'm dressed the way I'm dressed. But uh, given five short minutes to talk, I'll jump right into it. Uh, I thought I would talk about, since many of you know my vocation story, I thought I'd talk about how God has been moving in my life since I've started seminary. Uh, so it's two years in now, I've seen you know, God at work in my life, and uh, in, especially in three ways. And really, I'm only going to talk about one of them. But one way is uh, learning what it means to trust God. That was, you know, prior to starting, as you can tell, I'm not a 20-something. So when I started seminary, I've, I, I left a career to do that. And I had become very self-reliant in the career, right? So what does it mean to be God-reliant? Uh, what does it mean to trust God? That is something I learned, but I'll, I'll in this, for the sake of brevity, I'll skip over that. Also, I learned humility. Uh, again, something, something not a 20-something, you know, men especially can be very proud, and I was certainly guilty of that. Um, and so I've learned, or am continuing to learn, what it means to be humble, working at it. So if you hear me mess up, feel free to, to jump on me. But uh, what I really want to talk about quickly is gratitude. Gratitude is something that, uh, that's become very, very important to me. You know, mom and dad raised me right. I know, you know, when, you, when somebody does something nice for you, gives you a gift or something, you, you either express a thank you or, probably more importantly, you write a thank you note, right? That's something um, that I, you know, they raised me right. That's, I learned how to do that. But really, in that process, it was almost mechanical for me. It was something that was up here in my head. You know, something, somebody does something nice for you, you express thanks, either written or, or uh, verbal or both. And it was, but it was up here. Uh, two years ago in seminary, a year and a half ago in seminary, I had an experience that moved it from up here to here. And I'll share it with you because it's kind of funny, actually. I'm sure, like, like uh, probably all of you have experienced this at one point in your life. Have you ever crawled into bed, and for some reason, the sheets are probably freshly washed. The sheets are crisp, right? So you crawl into bed like, oh, you those nice fresh sheets. The temperature is perfect. Oh, it's so yeah, temperature is perfect. The sheets are really you know crisp. They they feel like they're massaging my skin. Um, you know, I had that experience. So I crawled into bed and I'm thinking these things. I'm like, oh, this is great. The day was wonderful. And I started to be a thank you, God, for these, for these clean sheets. And thank you for this perfect temperature. But it just kept going from there. And thank you, God, as I crawl into bed with his sense of purpose. I am so happy that you called and, and I answered. I thank you for, for letting me crawl into bed and, and going to sleep with a sense of purpose. And oh, thank you for having a roof over my head, a safe place that I could sleep. And it just kept, the list kept going on and on. I'm like, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And then the script kind of flipped. Then it was, gosh, there are many people around the world that, <laughs> that don't have comfortable sheets, that don't have air conditioning, that don't have a safe place to sleep, et cetera, right? There's, and so then the script flipped, and I was like, and I prayed for those who didn't have these things. And over that, I don't know how long it was, 20 minutes or however long it was, I came to realize, you know, it moved from up here to down here that everything that we have is a gift from God. Everything. You know, I didn't have to be born in this country. I could have been one of the 300,000 precious souls that's aborted each year. I could have been born in a poor country. And I mean, everything we have is a gift. And I realized um, then that, you know, in my prayers became much more about gratitude. My, and at that point, my, um, my faith really deepened. You know, I moved from, from here to here at this point, and gratitude became about loving God for every, everything he has given us. So uh, just for the sake of brevity, I'll, I'll end with, uh, with a quote here from Thessalonians. Thessalonians 5, 18. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. How many times are, like me, if you're like me, discerning, God, what is your will? What is your will? Uh, you know, it's probably a good place to start. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. So with that, I thank you, and I will pass it over to someone more eminently qualified than I.